Hey, this is WFD Productions with another tutorial. Uh, this one is slightly different than the other ones. Um, well, not slightly different, but it's relevant. Um, it's about adding plugins to your already hacked PSP. Now, this one runs on custom firmware. Yes, that means it's hacked and you need custom firmware to run plugins it's not like a case of yeah man I'm so smart I can use official firmware to put plugins on my PSP well I'll laugh at your face and you can just go you know F off I'm kidding but yeah um, you can't with official firmware and don't think you're so smart as you can and you can cheat it, you can cheat the system it's not gonna happen you're just gonna get laughed at, you're gonna look bad and yeah, it's just stupid, it's just stupid, don't waste your time um, as you can see mine has custom firmware as you can, like you can tell by the by the CTF or custom theme um, let's see, yeah, let me turn the volume on, alright, and in the end of this tutorial, you should get this, you should be able to go to your plugins manager, or go to recovery menu if you have a different firmware, then you should be able to have stuff like this that you can enable, disable, you got, like for example, I got audio boost, Boost is what I use, like, the audio boosting software that I use is to boost. I don't use audio boost, but nonetheless, you can get, like, cxmb.prx. You can get PSN Lover, which is what I'm going to show you how to install. Um, the, yeah, because this is what you're going to need if you want to get back on PlayStation Network. Um, this is useful. You can download it off uh, PSP Hacks. Dot com, I think it's what it's called. I'm not so sure. If, um, I'll put a I'll put a link in the description maybe, if you are lucky. Um, but yeah. So let's get on with this. Should shall we? Should we not? I think so. All right. All right. So the first thing you need to do with this is you need to be able to go to recovery menu now depending on the firmware you have you may be able to go from the men PSP XMB menu or you might have to do it the classic way um, for those running on 6.39 ME-9.1 or any of the ME types it's just go to enter recovery it's as simple as that. See? Now, if you run on a different uh, firmware that's like earlier, like for example, M33 whatever the hell, um, then you might want to do this. First, let me shut down my PSP. Now what you want to do is you want to hold the right button, turn on your PSP, and hold down the right button until recovery menu shows up. See? And this is where you want to be when you add in your plugins. It's It doesn't really matter though, but it's just for the sake of keeping it safe and, you know, not messing up. So, you want to go to your plugins just to check. You should have none if you're just starting out, which you probably should be starting out because otherwise, why would you be watching this? Um, haha, got you there. Um, yeah, but as you can see, I have all my plugins and stuff. Alright. And you want to go, when you're done here, you want to go back to this plug it to this plugins thing and you want to check that's how you check your plugins okay and then now what you do 
is find let's see you want to find the USB cable connected to your computer see and you want to plug it into your PSP as so and just hit X on toggle USB it's enabled and if you should see it registers on my computer now I'm gonna see if I can't switch over to the computer so I can narrate using a better screen.